What's up, sports fans? Welcome to something totally new on GA Sports. So obviously there's no you know, real sports going on right now with everything happening. Um, so we still have some kind of you know traditional sports content uh, going up, hopefully on GA Sports pretty soon. But for right now, what else is there to do but to play some random ass sports games that we can find on Steam? So this is Broomstick League, a game developed by Virtual Basement. Uh, a developer who I think is going to be coming out with a wrestling game pretty soon. So I heard about this, I figured I'd check it out. One, because of that, but two, because growing up I was a big Harry Potter fan. And obviously with Harry Potter, the books and the movies, uh, Quidditch is such a big part of the whole thing. And I really love the concept of Quidditch, but in practice, Quidditch is probably the worst fictional sport you could possibly think of. Right? I mean, just think about the rules, okay? So, like, three quarters of the sport, everything to do with the beaters, everything to do with the chasers and the keeper, everything to do with the game except going after the snitch is completely irrelevant. As long as you don't get blown out by 150 points before someone catches the snitch, you're fine, all right? You're going to win. So it just boils down to a one-on-one -on -one battle, the two seekers trying to catch the snitch, okay? So I love the concept of Quidditch. In practice, it's the dumbest sport that you could possibly make up. So we're trying Broomstick League to see if somebody can actually get this right. So let's jump right in. Let's see what we can do here. This is the first time I've ever played this game. Swear to God, this is the first time I've opened it. I have no idea what's going on, how this works. This is completely new to me. Boom! Hell yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why does my guy look like Voldemort? Who would be... What What? What athlete do you think would be a good Quidditch player? Usain Bolt would be really good at Quidditch, because he's like a magician, pretty much. So, let's make somebody who kind of looks like Usain Bolt. I don't have a picture of him in front of me in, like, the Quidditch World Cup and stuff. It's it's like a national thing, and so if you ever played the the actual Quidditch World Cup video game from like ten years ago or maybe more, they made one which was pretty fun, and it was much more obviously single player focused, being that's you know when it came out, and so uh, that's what I would prefer here. I would prefer like an actual single player focused mode, and maybe that's coming. I'm pretty sure this is early access, so. Uh, maybe that's coming. I think that would be better. Um, you probably can't get the licensing to get the actual, like, Harry Potter houses. Um, but, you know, you can at least get, like, nations and stuff, play a World Cup or, you know, some kind of season mode. Because in Harry Potter, they refer to, uh, or they make, they at least make references to, uh, club teams. Like, like, Ron Weasley has, supports, like, Puddlemore United or something. Um, so there are club Quidditch teams as well where you can, like, play professionally. There are certain deficiencies here, and the one of them being they they don't really explain to you all the controls or how this stuff kind of works. Um, also, uh, you're supposed to be able to taunt, and I don't know how to do that. All right, evaded one. Going in, ah. So Lee seems pretty content to just sit back there and play some D, which is fine. Except, where the hell was he? Lee, what the hell's wrong with you? Hey, Oliver... Whoa, 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 that's a Harry Potter character. Oliver Wood. He was like the keeper of Gryffindor or something. So, I have an AI now, apparently. Hey, there you go, Oliver. Yeah, but he was the keeper now, so he's actually got to do keeper things. Or, or maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just sit there. So there's a dragon outside, that's pretty cool. You know what, I'm just gonna let him have it, because I'm screwing myself right now. Oliver? Yes! Yes! You know what? You know what? There is always room, there is always room for a great keeper. Whether it's Quidditch or soccer. And that's what I was. I was just sitting back and watching the messy of Quidditch do his thing. Alright, I haven't quite gotten the hang of this magnet spell yet. Like, is it necessary? Oliver, what the hell, dude? Messy of Quidditch. I'm just trying to figure out the controls at this point, bro. Oliver, what are you doing, son? Messy of Quidditch. <laughs> what are you doing? Here's the magnet spell. Well, what does it do? Like, do you release 
Am I a dumbass? That's absolutely possible. Correct! See, Oliver's man marking, and, and, and I missed. I missed the, the sign. I missed that call. I was playing zone. Remarkable. Uh, yes, JP, yes, I am trash. I'm aware of that. I still don't know how to use this magnet spell. Do you have to click? Is it a blink thing? Do I have to right click? Do I just release? Is Oliver about to get scored on? What? Oliver made a save? I know that's his job. Ah, oh, Christ alive, Oliver. Messi of Quidditch. This video is probably gonna, you know, suck because nobody wants to see somebody terrible. <laughs> and I clearly am. Uh, would it have been better for me to actually have played this game before I started making a video out of it? That uh, can be debated. All right, AI needs major work. I, I think I know now why they didn't go for single player. Yo, who, who is Oliver Wood talking to? Is Oliver Wood not the AI? <laughs> Seriously, I, I was positive Oliver Wood must have been the AI. Messi of quit. He literally created an account just for this game to call himself Oliver Wood, and I respect the absolute hell out of that. In which case, he takes this game very seriously, and one, I'm very bad at it, and I apologize, and two, you kind of suck too, dude, so I respect Oliver if he's staying in the game this long, knowing that his teammate has the relative skill of a bumblebee. Uh, if you did enjoy this, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, leave a like, all that, all that kind of stuff you hear from other YouTubers that you watch. Of course, I'm not the only one that's going to say that, so uh, I appreciate it. This is pretty fun for what it was, um, so go out and buy it, it's like five bucks if you want to give it a try or, or whatever else. Maybe we can play online together, whatever you want to do, so we appreciate you. Uh, subscribe to GA Sports for all of our content, we really appreciate it.